This one thing will change your mixes. I'm gonna explain to you one key factor and one key metric that's gonna change how you mix your songs for the rest of your career. This is really gonna be important if you're a beginner with mixing, so let's dive right into it. I'm gonna explain a battle that has been going on in the music industry with this one metric, and here's what it is. Okay, it's called LUFS. Now, what is LUFS? It just stands for loudness under full scale. Essentially, it's either loudness under or loudness units, um, but essentially what it is, it is true loudness. Now, what does this even mean? You've got like dB decibels and you've got LUFS. You wanna measure your LUFS. Just in terms of mixing, generally speaking, what we want is for our mix to hit at a certain level and then for our master to hit at a certain level. And I'm gonna explain the difference. I'm gonna use a live example. The common theme that's been going on is everybody says, hey, Spotify wants us at negative 14 because Spotify is gonna compress your song. But <laughs> the deal is every producer who's really in the game knows, fuck that, I'm not listening to that shit. I'm gonna put my shit at however much I want. I'm gonna make it as loud as I want without it sounding bad. I'll let Spotify handle it. Because what happens is if you do end up bouncing your song at negative 14, it's not gonna be loud enough. I've experienced this, tons of people have experienced this. So what we're gonna optimize for is really LUFS at two places, the end of the mix and the end of the master, okay? So I'm gonna draw this out for you and then I'm gonna use a live example. So I'm gonna use a live example from one of my clients. So what I do is I run a music production academy, it's called Rapid Fire Music Academy, and I teach recording artists how to become their own producer. So I teach how to produce instrumentals, record vocals at home, mix and master. So one of my clients, he's a fantastic client, he makes amazing music. He had just released a brand new song, and he, he texted me when he released the song, and was like, hey man, I just dropped my new song, and I'm listening to it and it's sounding too quiet when I listen to it on Apple Music and Spotify. I said, okay. I said, by the way, great job on the song, it's a banger. But I said, why do you feel like it sounds too quiet? He said, well, when I finished mastering the song and I bounced it out, it all sounded fine to me. When I finished mixing it, it all sounded fine to me. But I don't know why it just sounds way too quiet when I'm listening to it on like Spotify and Apple. I said, I already, in my head, I said, I already know probably what the problem is. It's probably an LUFS problem. So I asked him, well, when you bounced out the master, what was the LUFS? And he said, negative eight, just like you told me. I said, okay, what about the mix? I said, how much did you bounce the mix out? And this is what he shared with me. So before, here's what he bounced the mix at. He bounced out the mix at negative 15 LUFS. That's hella quiet. And the master was negative eight. So even though his master was fine, the problem is he bounced his mix so quiet. So this is our problem because you can bounce your mix, I'm sorry, you can bounce your master at negative eight, which probably is gonna be okay. But if your mix is at negative 15, then this negative eight is gonna be a lot different. So I said, hey man, look, here's what we'll do. I said, let's workshop the song at one of our group calls, come through to the call, bring the song, let's remix it, let's kind of remaster it, let's see what we can do. So what ended up happening was, we did a couple of adjustments, and then after, this is what ended up happening.
we were able to make adjustments and get his mix to end at negative 10 LUFS. That's big time. That means that our mix is louder and it wasn't clipping. It wasn't sounding bad. It was sounding super full. It was sounding great. And then at the end, when we went to master it, we actually ended up We actually ended up getting it all the way up to negative 7.5 LUFS. So consider this for a second. Before, he had the song at negative 15 in the mix. That means that the true loudness of his mix was at negative 15 LUFS. And then when he mastered it, it was negative 8. But we know that because it was negative 15, it was super quiet. We then changed up his mix. We fixed up a few things on the group call and got it all the way to negative 10 LUFS in the mix. And then we even got the master even louder at negative 7.5. So we made the song way, 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 way louder. If we do the math here, we've pretty much upped it five and a half, right? We did plus five LUFS. Imagine how much louder that song is and how much more full and how much more professional that song sounding because we're able to get it even louder even more full and still it wasn't clipping so when you're doing your mixing and your mastering i want you to really truly understand lufs is super important what we want to try to optimize for when we're mixing is we really want to try to optimize that thing to about negative 10 negative 9 negative 8 at the most when we're done mixing there's certain genres and certain styles where you can go even further but for the most part, if you finish mixing and your song's mixed and it's done and it's negative 10 or negative nine LUFS, you're golden. And then when you're finished, you take that and you finish mastering, you really want that thing hitting at negative eight, negative nine. You might even be able to push it to negative seven or negative six, again, depending on the genre, all right? So I really, really hope this video helped. Go mix and go try these things out because I'm gonna tell you it is so crucial to get this whole loudness and LUFS battle down. So I hope this video helped and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.